Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. As you might be able to tell, this is kind of a different backdrop from my usual vlogs. Reason being that I'm in the Caribbean. So you will have noticed that like from the title and the thumbnail, this is going to be, I don't want to say like a different type of uh, content for my channel because I do film travel vlogs every now and again, especially like the last half a year because I've been living in London and I try to make the most out of it on the weekends. But anyway, I'm going to try to make this intro short. So I'm in the Caribbean and I decided to vlog it. I'm on a cruise um, and so I'm standing a little above sea level and we're going to stop, I think at like 10 or 11 um, islands. So I decided to make a two part vlog out of it because yeah, it's my first time in the Caribbean, first time on a cruise ship, so um, chances are I'm going to film a lot and I don't want this vlog to turn into a, like a two hour one, so I'm going to split it up. This vlog will entail, let me read it out, Aruba, Curaçao, Bonaire, which is currently like we're currently in Bonaire. Tomorrow's the sea day, I might film a little bit on the sea day, but afterwards we're going to go to Grenada and Barbados. This is going to be part one of the vlog and part two, which um, is going to come up after this vlog and maybe next week, maybe in another couple of weeks, depending on how uh, I'm going to get the editing done. Part two will be San Vincent, so Kingstown, San Lucia, Dominica, Guadeloupe, Antigua and La Romana. La Romana is like in the Dominican Republic. It's also where we arrived. So I don't know if I'll actually do anything uh, like um, in La Romana or just like quickly like loop around the city center. But yeah, uh, that's the layout of the next like this vlog and the vlog to come. I'm, I really hope you're up for that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take you along to the Caribbean. As I said, never been. So it's uh, yeah very exciting. I mean, I did uh, cover to uh, it's like the afternoon so essentially like three islands already and i'm loving it so far especially like in january escaping winter in uh, northern europe is definitely a plus so um let me pan around you're gonna see that view quite a number of times because sunsets um from here and even like sunrise is just so magical anyway before i make this intro any longer than it has to be I'm so excited to take you along and i guess uh, let's start at the beginning so back to past Leslie, I guess. Catch you then. Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite, cause I like your attitude. Let's forget about a curfew, cause all that is stuck in my head is me and you. Good morning from, let me turn around, oh look at that sky, hopefully it's not too windy by the way, um, I'm on the 15th deck, I think. Anyway, good morning from Aruba, we're basically about to arrive, I guess, we're fairly close to the harbor, looks like it at least. Anyway, so um, it's like half past eight-ish, quarter to nine in the morning, and I do have two day trips planned, okay. One like afternoon sunset trip actually, I'm going to take a catamaran into the sunset, which I'm so excited about. But um, yeah, during the day I have like, I think it's like the highlights of Aruba or something like that. So we're going to probably, ooh, that's 
a little too bright. <laughs> there we go. So we're probably gonna take like a bus and um, basically go to a couple of, I guess, highlights. Hopefully highlights because um, I didn't do much planning, which is also the reason. I mean, I didn't have the time while I was still in London. So um, I was like, okay, don't have time for planning. So I might as well just like trust the cruise uh, ship company. So I booked all of the day trips via the cruise company, which um, hopefully will work out fine. But anyway, we're going to look at some highlights of Aruba, I guess. And um, yeah, I'm going to take you along for that. So let's check out Aruba together. We got everything we need right here Wine and burning chemistry You and me alone You and me alone Inside of our embassy Everything we need right here Make me sing along, sing along I never thought I'd ever be stuck by you Ooh. I never thought I'd ever be stuck by you Oh, watch me Okay, so I just got back from the tour. We did a couple of stops. I'm um, not even gonna try to like remember everything. I will have inserted the names um, yeah, while I was showing you the footage. I'm, I think on the eighth deck, I might actually have to go down. Wait a sec. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna um, grab myself a quick lunch and then I think I'm gonna head out again because apparently um, not every uh, Caribbean island that we're gonna visit has like the city basically at the port. So behind me is Sorry about the light changing. Basically, yeah, we're at the port, duh. <laughs> and uh, back there is already Oranian Start. And yeah, it's super walkable. And that apparently isn't the case with most of the Caribbean islands. So I'm going to make use of the fact that I can actually like walk into the city. They actually have a Louis Vuitton and Prada, Cartier, Gucci. Really weird. I'm not planning to do any shopping, but uh, just it should be fun to check it out. I guess uh, those shops are fairly small. Um, and yeah, we'll see if they have any like even remotely um, up-to-date stock but uh, yeah first off quick lunch and then I'm gonna head out again and tonight I have the catamaran um, like the sunset sail which um, I'm so looking forward to but first off lunch <laughs> So um, I clearly didn't give Aruba the credit it deserves um, because the Louis Vuitton A was way bigger than I had anticipated and B they had all the new collections. I mean mind you it's like today is the 6th of January. They had the denim collection, they had the new Verni collection and basically a lot of colors and a lot of um, bag styles as well. They also had the, uh, is it the mini me capucines? Um, I did show you that in my Heathrow vlog. That should have gone up uh, at this point. But yeah, so really surprised that they had such a like large selection and all the new stuff. They also had, like, they basically have everything here. They have a Gucci, like a very large one. They have a huge Zara, which I briefly went into, but I'm not here to shop like stuff that I can get at home as well. Um, so yeah, I think um, I, I talked to someone who did basically the exact same cruise as I did just like a month prior, basically like before Christmas. And she was like, yeah, um, Aruba is definitely like the Las Vegas of the uh, Caribbean. And I kind of see uh, that because there are also like casinos everywhere and where there are casinos, there's usually also like, um, yeah, shopping opportunities. If I haven't told you yet, I'm on the AIDA Perla. That's a German like cruise company, which is also why I don't really know if 
like how much you want to see basically of the amenities and the food and everything you can do because chances are i mean i do have a good amount of subscribers that are from germany but most of you are like from all over the world so lots of people from the us obviously uh, which i love like it's one of my most favorite things when you write in the comments like yeah i'm greetings from wherever i don't know like texas or like the philippines so i don't know how relevant the information uh, would be if i show you like everything that you can do on the aida this is definitely more so a vlog that shows you the caribbean and like um, the day trips and everything not uh, focus on the cruise ship itself so yeah i hope um, that works out for you and now i'm gonna it's super hot and very windy hence why i'm eating my hair basically all day but uh, i think i'm just gonna walk back to the ship so yeah catch you then Good morning from Willemstad Curaçao. They still have um, the Christmas displays up, which is fine. I mean, it's the 7th of January, I think. Kind of lost track of time, which I think is kind of typical when you're on a cruise. I, mean, I wouldn't be able to tell because this is my first one. I think I mentioned that numerous times, so I'm going to try to stop mentioning it again. But yeah, so today I have a like trip situation planned and booked and everything but that isn't until one in the early afternoon I guess so for the first half of the day I was like might as well explore Willemstad because the port is like so close um, to yeah basically city center so I think I'm walking in the right direction we're gonna find out and uh, yeah as with uh, Aruba they have these like beautiful like colorful houses so um, I'm just gonna like wander around talk about colorful houses. It's not as windy as uh, on Aruba but I mean granted I'm basically protected by um, houses right now but yeah I think let me consult my maps I mean I don't have like uh, internet on my phone I only have wi-fi on the boat but um, usually the maps work kind of ish at least to give you an idea of where you're walking and yeah let's explore Curaçao more specifically we'll start together and uh, like in the afternoon um, I think we're going to take a bus again and explore more of like nature and I think we also have like an hour or so um, on the beach scheduled yeah let's go So it turns out I'm in a full-on residential area. There's hardly anyone around. I'm kind of doing like a self-guided like street art walking tour apparently. I didn't do any research, like hardly any. The only bit of research that I did was A, I booked the uh, trip like for this afternoon, but that was months ago. I actually had to like the other day look up what the trip actually entails. But yeah, for the first half of the day, the only research that I did was while I had breakfast, I Googled like top photo spots or like top Insta spots in Curaçao or like Willem Willemstad. But um, I think it turned out fine because there are murals everywhere and yeah, the street art is quite impressive. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm currently on the, I think the western part of Willemstad. Um, it's basically like a two part situation and it's connected by a bridge. So I'm going to search the bridge um, because yeah, the east part of Willemstad is supposed, is supposed to be really beautiful as well. And uh, yeah, then I just have to make sure that I'm back at the port. I think my bus is leaving at like one-ish, so with a little bit of wiggle room, plus I should probably go back to my um, cabin, reapply sunscreen, maybe plan to be back at 12. And I think it's like half past nine right now, so um, I better get going um, because yeah, there's so much to see. And uh, yeah, catch you later. Stop. 
All right, so I did mention that I didn't really know what the trip that I booked like months in advance entailed, apparently. It includes like a little over an hour at the beach. This is Knip Beach or Can Playa Canapa, Canapa Beach, something along those lines. I'm going to include like the proper name on the screen. But uh, yeah, I don't have like swimming stuff with me, but lots of people do. I mean, it's a Sunday today, so lots of locals are here, which uh, probably really annoyed them that we were like arriving with a huge tour bus. So. I knew that was about to happen, so it's fairly windy. Didn't lose my head, but um, almost. Anyway, so let's go down to the beach. And I don't know how much I'll be able to film because I don't want to film like people um, half naked, but we'll figure something out. Oh, there we go. It's Kinepa Beach, apparently. So uh, yeah, let's go down. So I'm back, kind of like try to tame my hair because with the wind um, and with my hair being somewhat long and kind of textured, I guess, um, yeah, not scalore, but I think I kind of uh, made it work again. Anyway, so behind me uh, is the, I think it's the Norwegian Pearl. We did uh, come across that uh, ship yesterday as well. They, I think they're traveling the ABC islands together with us. So yeah, today was Curaçao which is behind me. Um, this is Wilhelmstad. So yeah, super fortunate uh, that um, yeah, the city uh, is so walkable from the port because it's basically like a 10-ish uh, minute walk, super manageable. Um, that doesn't seem to be the case with most of the islands. Uh, talk about wind. Let me quickly fix my hair. <laughs> anyway, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, right. So um, I did this like half day trip um, with the beach and all that, which was great. I didn't go into the water because also we just like had a little over an hour. I would have been way too stressed and rushed. So I just like dipped my toes into the water. But anyway, so tomorrow is going to be Bonaire. So the B out of the ABC items. We basically did an ACB situation. So Bonaire is tomorrow. And I think I only have like a fairly short day trip booked this time around. That's going to start fairly early though. So like quarter past eight or something like that. <laughs> Went on vacation, right? Um, anyway, so that's going to be, I think, in somewhat of an open bus, uh, like a school bus, uh, actually. Oh, look at the jet skis. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Light changing constantly. So yeah, I think that's gonna be in like a school bus with like Caribbean music playing, which chances are due to like copyright um, strikes and everything, I won't be able to show you the actual like audio that came with the footage, but I'm sure I'm gonna find like uh, royalty free Caribbean inspired music online. Anyway, so I think I'm actually gonna call it an early night today because um, I only walked like 15,000 steps, but in the heat with the wind, uh, yeah, with me not being used to that much like sun. I was gonna say not being used to that much uh, like fresh air, but that's not true because I did walk a lot in London. Like every, 
as far as possible every weekend at least like one day where I was like walking so much but uh, yeah the sun and the temperature is definitely something I'm not used to anyway so I'm gonna catch you tomorrow at some point and of course I'm gonna take you along for the bus ride um, across uh, Bonaire I guess and um, ooh, helicopter I'm gonna turn the camera around catch you tomorrow All right, so I'm back from my, I think it was like a three hour-ish um, like bus drive around the island, I guess. It was so windy. I mean, my bad for like uh, picking a seat uh, at the window. We didn't have any windows where the windows were supposed to be um, because it was so windy. But yeah, I think I got some nice footage. We did see flamingos even more than yesterday, although I don't think flamingos were like announced for today. But um, yeah, they're living uh, in the wild here. so. That was nice and um, yeah we also drove by one of those like salt seas essentially where they like mining salt it's probably not the right word but you get what I'm saying so um, yeah they produce salt here and I'm now sorry about the noise in the background I'm now in the city center I think at least um, okay the city is called Kranendijk as was yesterday and the day before um, you have those like typical colorful houses also lots of murals so let me walk into the sun I probably have to squint but there it is and yeah um, we got back fairly early so we started at 8 30 I think and we got back at like quarter past 11 and yeah right now it's like noon I guess so I'm gonna wander around like for another hour or so then go back to the boat or, like the ship uh, grab some lunch and then probably head back out again but anyway I'm gonna figure something out um, you're coming along with me Jeez, maybe like um, before I grab lunch I might head back to my cabin and try to kind of brush my hair without like pulling half of my hair out but <laughs> that's beside the point uh, let's walk into the city oh jeez, wind <laughs> let's walk into the city On my way to the supermarket uh, I'm gonna go to the one that we passed in the bus like on our way back after all I don't think it's like that far probably just like the bus took kind of like detour probably because that's the only way to get back into the port but I think like from the ship it should be like a 20 minute walk um, I'm now at like midway I guess it's super hot <laughs> not as windy anymore which now I'm like um, wind please because uh, we're like at I'd say like 30 degrees Celsius and some wind would help. I mean, it is windy, but nowhere near as windy as when we were driving with the bus along the coast. I had a really hard time getting all of those knots out of my hair. I had to use the scissors a couple of times. Yeah, 
it was windy. <laughs> anyway, so I think the supermarket is a Dutch one because Bonaire kind of still belongs to the Netherlands. Uh, so does Curaçao and Aruba, but in different kind of um, extents and levels. Uh, don't <laughs> quote me on the politics behind it. And apparently the like main currency or like the official currency is US dollars on Bonaire. Um, whereas in Curaçao and in, oh geez, I'm getting my <laughs> island names mixed up. And I've only been to three at this point. Curaçao and Aruba, they have like a different currency. But at most places or like all places, they accept US dollars. So it wasn't that much of a hassle paying. Anyway, catch you later. Okay, um, I'm not even in the supermarket that I saw from the bus, which also means, um, like, this is just a random one that I came across on my way, which also means that there are multiples, which makes me way more excited than it should. But I also came across a licorice selection, um, like Dutch licorice. I appreciate licorice is not everyone's taste, but I'm from the northern part of Germany, so one of those bags is coming home with me, not home home, but on the ship. And yeah, definitely goes to show that um, the ABC islands, but basically all of the Caribbean has multiple influences. So you have like Blue Diamond almonds, so Blue Diamond is definitely a US brand. Then you have like a large selection of like Dutch stuff, of course. And um, I think also like tons of like Asian inspired, also Venezuela is super close. So yeah, definitely a very large selection. I'm a little overwhelmed. I have to be mindful of the time because we're leaving pretty early today. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna roam around this supermarket and then go to the one that I had actually planned to go to because that one looks even bigger and okay, Ooh, this makes me way more excited than it should. But um, yeah, let me know if you're the same. Um, definitely like going to different kind of supermarkets while on vacation. It's one of my like guilty pleasures. The perfect summer is over in a flash and you're on your way. Somebody Open for tonight, it's not too late My mind says yes You've been here for quite some time But my heart tells me You should stay a little while mm. Are we at the end or are we at the start? One hundred twenty-nine beats per minute Good morning from, is it Grenada or Granada? Yeah, either way, welcome from the island. So yesterday was a day at sea and it was just like the laziest day I've had in months, I'd say, um, which was definitely well needed. So I, did, I basically didn't do anything, just like eat. I, did, I didn't even go to the cycling class that I signed up for because I was kind of exhausted. Um, so yeah, I was just like lying on the balcony, which I do have quite a good amount of space so uh, that helped so i do have the like um, i think like highlights of grenada um to booked for the first half of the day afterwards like in the early afternoon we're gonna go to a waterfall i think it's the concord waterfall and uh, we're gonna get a tour of a chocolate factory and i think we're also gonna get some samples so yeah packed day in grenada on grenada <laughs> By the way, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, I would really appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Um, on my channel, I talk about all things luxury, in particular handbags, but I cover a wide range of topics, as you're able to see. I also do enjoy filming uh, travel vlogs. I mean, travel is definitely a luxury as well. Um, I film shopping vlogs, unboxings, reviews, all the good stuff. So if that sounds like a thing, I would love for you to join my little YouTube family. And uh, yeah, also, as I mentioned, this is part one, so stay tuned for part two this vlog isn't over yet so um yeah just to let you know that there's more to come and i guess uh, yeah let's explore grenada or granada together just got back from breakfast and I have like a little under an hour to kill, not to kill, like to 
spend on the ship. Anyway, one thing I wanted to mention is yesterday I talked to a girl from Canada. She doesn't speak a single word of German and she was like, it's totally fine to um, take an AIDA cruise because as um, I already mentioned, I think I mentioned, the very important um, announcements are definitely bilingual. So German first, sometimes even the English first and then German. So um, any anything that's like uber important is definitely gonna be announced in English as well and yeah she was totally fine and she said she enjoyed it and um, yeah so just I wanted to mention that in case you've been thinking and maybe you're comparing prices um, yeah compared to some of the other cruise ships and maybe Aida is quite competitive when it comes to their pricing no idea because I didn't do any like comparison research type of thing but anyway so don't let um, Aida being a German cruise uh, company deter you from taking one of their cruises because apparently it's fine <laughs> and I mean especially in the Caribbean the like day trips that are booked through Aida they're all like um, English speaking guides so that definitely helps as well it's just like some of the nice to have announcement on the ship but nothing like super important that's in German only The chocolate factory was amazing. Uh, I did buy a little more than I <laughs> had planned, so um, future Leslie won't be happy when it comes to like actually fitting all of my stuff that I purchased uh, throughout this trip in my suitcase. I mean, volume won't be a problem, but weight will be. But again, future Leslie problem. And uh, yeah, I also bought like nutmeg and um, cinnamon. It's insane. Like apparently the soil is super fertile, so everything just like grows out of nowhere essentially so like along the streets there were like mango trees uh, coconuts um, limes or like lemons so yeah so glad that i like added this like extra trip in and now <laughs> it's fairly crowded let me turn around because we have like half an hour left until we have to be on board because we're gonna leave at I think six uh, like in the afternoon at night which also means that um, while we depart we still have the sun so I'm gonna film that maybe uh, first off let me go, uh, get to my cabin because I'm a little sweaty like everywhere and um, the wind while driving definitely helped but still like um, in the rainforest it was a little more chilly than like down here but yeah humidity and heat uh, isn't the greatest of combinations anyway I had an amazing day. I really underestimated Grenada. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't really do any research as I said. <laughs> but uh, yeah, highly recommend Grenada. Out of the four islands that I've seen uh, so far, yeah, today was kind of special and uh, might be my favorite. I mean, I don't want to compare, but anyway, before I ramble on any further, let me actually get on the ship and... Um, I'm not really hungry yet also because I did snack a lot uh, because like in the chocolate factory they had like samples out. I bought a couple of 100% uh, chocolates and they taste so much better than in Europe. Um, anyway, gotta get going, catch you later. Good morning from Bridgetown, I, mm, let me turn around, oh, another cruise ship. 
Tui, I think. Anyway, um, good morning from Bridgetown. Behind me is the harbor. Not the nicest of like um, anchor places, but yeah, I'm going to figure out if it's actually possible to walk into the city. Um, so yeah, we're on Barbados, uh, hopefully close uh, to Bridgetown. And today is the last day of vlog part one. So um, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. And as I said, there will be a part two um, of the second stretch of my trip. Um, don't quote me on all of the islands that we're going to visit on part two. But I did mention that at the beginning of the vlog. Anyway. So plan of action for today. <laughs> okay, first off, uh, I'm not wearing the same thing as I did yesterday. This is actually a dress. I love this one. It has these like cutouts. Um, it's probably not the best choice for today because today is the day that I have this like, um, basically like a beach day planned, uh, like booked. So Carlisle Beach is apparently one of the most beautiful beaches uh, around here. And I did book a trip where we basically go to three different stretches of Carlisle Beach. Um, and I'm planning to go into the water, maybe, possibly, I don't know yet, but this dress is super tricky to get into and out of, so maybe not the best dress um, if I'm undecided, because uh, chances are, at the end of the day, the dress will decide that I'm probably not going to go into the water. <laughs> anyway, I'm determined to wear it, because I've only ever worn it once. Actually, in the south of France, was it like two years ago, more than two years ago, um, in September-ish 2021. Also, my South of France vlog from, yeah, as I said, years ago, um, still continuously gets uh, views and it's one of my, it's actually my most viewed video on my channel. So yeah, check that out if you don't know uh, that video yet. But uh, yeah, I guess let's get going. Beach number three of three. I don't know what this one is called. I just like see Kala Beach written everywhere, but my understanding would be that all of the three beaches that we visited were kind of like part of Kala Beach. I'm gonna research um, if this stretch has a particular name, but the first one was Rockley Beach, if I'm not mistaken, and the second one was Pebble Beach. No pebbles to be found, like just like gorgeous white sand. Anyway, so I'm gonna walk back to the bus, find the bus, also try to find out what this beach stretch is called. Oh, maybe put on my flip-flops because they're like tiny little acorns on the floor. Um, anyway, and then I'm going to head back to the, not hotel, to the ship and um, yeah, definitely go out again. We did land, uh, I did show you that, I think we did uh, land or like park, anchor, <laughs> um, in somewhat of a like commercial industrial area, but I hope I'm able to just like walk into the city. But first, I'm probably gonna get changed because my dress got soaked multiple times <laughs> while I was like walking along the uh, water. I get changed, probably like shower first um, because sand everywhere. And then I'm gonna head into the city and buy a shot glass because I do collect shot glasses. Who knows how I'm able to transport everything back uh, within the like way to the mid, but again, future dazzling problem. Anyway, ah. Uh, welcome to Brown's Beach, says back there. It's probably mirrored for you, but Brown's Beach. The more you know. Anyway, so let me find the bus and let's head back to the ship. Getting 
got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? showered, got changed and headed out again and I've been walking through Bridgetown for like an hour or so. Also, um, as I had like anticipated, oh, sun, 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 shade. Um, it's mm, like a 15-ish minute walk from the ship uh, to the city center. Talk about city center, it's very spread out and there's no like distinct there's no rhyme or reason to the layout I'd say. Anyway, so I think I'm done in Bridgetown. I'm sure I didn't see like even a third of what you could see in Bridgetown but I'm boiling and um, it also rained um, quite a bit um, over like um, lunchtime which came in handy because um, I quickly grabbed lunch anyway and sat inside and looked outside and it was raining but now blue skies again. Um, I think January is still like the back end of uh, like rainy season or even hurricane season. Anyway, I'm gonna head back to the ship and I don't know if I've got anything planned. Okay, I do know that I haven't got anything planned for tonight, but that may change. But in case I don't catch you or I don't have anything interesting... Geez, oh, <laughs> you have to be a very good driver here. Um, very... Uh, like attentive driver because some of these people anyway so what i was gonna say is in case i don't catch you uh, like later tonight um i guess i'm gonna end this vlog here um yeah definitely like my trip isn't over yet i have like the second stretch basically but that's gonna go in vlog number two so definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that uh, when i upload it and also like just in general any of my videos to come as i said i cover a lot of faces I guess with my channel in the last couple of months there's been a good amount of London vlogs that's going to change because I don't live in London anymore but luxury like shopping uh, travel content here and there all the good stuff so if that sounds like a thing I would love for you to become part of my little YouTube family still um, working on getting to 4,000 subscribers um, so if you can help me get there that would be amazing wow I'm so sorry about <laughs> it being so loud I'm walking along a fairly large street anyway thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and uh, yeah catch you in vlog number two <laughs>